Hey guys, this is Viewmasters Reactions, and I'm doing another one of Robert Sheenan's videos. This was recommended a couple days ago, maybe a week ago, by a subscriber. I have been struggling to keep up with the comments because as I'm getting bigger, there are just more and more comments. But this was recommended. It is called Robert Sheehan at his best. Klaus from Umbrella Academy, if you don't know, one of my favorites. I got a different picture up now because I thought this one was cooler. They're like more compressed and bigger and stuff. So we're just going to jump into this, guys. Here we go. Here we go. I've been brought here against my will. I, I, I just want to say if my family sees this, I'm at UCD in South Dublin. Please, please come and rescue me. Just leave a bag of 2 million euro in unmarked notes down uh, in the CTN locker. But leave it anonymous. You can't put a price on love, can you? Can you? Please? How long ago is this? He looks young. Quadruple take challenge online. Yeah, just lecturing to the world about how to do a quadruple take. He thinks he has the monopoly on quadruple take. He does. Take. But you do not, Patrick Stewart. You're not even very good at it. it yeah, was, so in fact, it was, very, it was very clumsy and you lost count halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> so you were presenting best comedy? I was. Uh, I'm a very serious man, so I think that's why they did it, you know, for irony purposes. <laughs> I think that's what the concept of irony is. So it's just a bunch of clips of him younger. I've only ever learned it from listening to Alanis Morissette, so I'm... Neil Gaiman would be more famous for Stardust, and he wrote Coraline. This is all pre-Umbrella Academy. Uh, an amazing book called... Uh, so far. American Gods, and another one called Neverwhere. He's just, he's just... The fucking... <laughs> Say in uh, the ghetto. American Gods, Ian McShane. I haven't seen it. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, so I play Clary. Um, who's haven't seen that yet either. Mortal Instruments. Who, who's secretly harboring feelings of love. For his <laughs> best friend. Romance <laughs> love. Romance. Love. love. Romantic lovely love. I'm like her best friend, but who is secretly harboring feelings of love for her. Mortal and Instruments. Someone told me that. <laughs> Come into my city of bones. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Look, you went to his city of bones. You never saw mine. <laughs> yeah. So when you found out that you were going to play Simon, were there, did, you have, did you have any reservations or were you just really, really excited? <laughs> um, she looks you know, very you excited to interview him. You don't need a reservation. So I didn't have any reservations, you know, as regards in the culinary sense. <laughs> <laughs> He's so silly. I am going to react to Misfits, guys. When True Detective's over, I'm going to try to throw in Misfits. Oh, it's actually called City of Bones? I thought that was just an inside joke. Well, you know, what they don't do in Twilight is that everyone's looking at everyone else, you know what I mean? Don't think I haven't noticed Jamie Campbell Bower's sculpted bum. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's like a peach. <laughs> yeah, Alice Morissette is very much the queen of irony. It's when you've got 10,000 spoons. When all you need is a knife. What kind of situation are you in? <laughs> if all you need is a knife. Maybe you're in a POW camp and you've dug a tunnel. But then there are two <laughs> guards on the other end of the tunnel, and all you have to do is kill them, and then you're away to freedom. And you have 10,000 spoons, and then you've, you've dug the tunnel with them, and all you need is a knife to kill them. <laughs> he's, so still, Chinese. he's being so literal about it. Jamie about this movie, Great. And, uh, we can't decide whether to call it The Mortal Instruments, or City of Bones, or The Mortal Bones, or The City of Instruments, or uh, what exactly do you call it? Uh, well, I call my genitals The Mortal Instruments. <laughs> <laughs> Not City of Bones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's when me and a bunch of mates get together. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love the ability to be able to see flatulence, so that as soon as as soon as whoever does it, you know, you can blame them straight away. They can't deny like someone it weeing them. in a pool. Like <laughs> weeing in a pool. Exactly, but that's a little bit, you know, that's a bit clearer. But you know, when you see <laughs> <Or> someone, <laughs> in, so <laughs> depends on the quality of the urine. <laughs> um, keep reading books. Books are awesome. Books are <coughs> awesome. Books are a far more gratifying <laughs> piece of art than a film is. But you can then go see the film after you've read the book, right? So read <laughs> The Mortal Instruments, you bunch of thicks. 
you know, all the badass shadow hunters had to come in and get, you know, lots and lots of runes and ink on their skin, which required, you know, two hours before filming <laughs> of sitting in a makeup chair going, please, I just want to sleep. Whereas I was asleep. I was at home in bed. You and could then do I the out of bed look. And <laughs> exactly, yeah. I'm exactly. guessing these are all misfit related interviews. If anything, you know, I just, or, I just or mortal instruments. And breezed in at you had to basically room. drink at night, come in hungover so you'd look the part. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Come in barely wearing a shirt and, uh, and trousers if the rest of them were lucky. There's a scene where you take your top off. And we see, yeah, you know, girls, we, we, we really take care of that. That you're, yeah, you, you're... <laughs> so, you're Shows one nip. One, yeah, one nipple. I have, I have several. I have about seven all going down my back on either side. You haven't seen it yet. And you're welcome to. I'm very much like Jean-Claude Van Damme in the sense that I, in my contract... Going all up and down my back. <clears throat> like full on, full moon. I've been calling it the whole thing because I don't know yeah. what to call it. I've been adding all the words in in their right order. We arrived is, yeah. at Cobb. Cobb. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a, an 80s detective show on the BBC? <laughs> Cobb. Or like, you know, Touch of Frost. <laughs> it actually does. It was being described as recently, which I, I quite liked urban fantasy. You know what I mean? It made me think of like uh, Gandalf in some skinny jeans <laughs> popping pills in a rave somewhere, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> Gandalf in skinny jeans Gandalf popping pills. And, uh, Professor Xavier, like, <laughs> smashing it, taking MDMA in, like, some, some warehouse in Brixton. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like that at all. Neither Gandalf nor Patrick Stewart <laughs> are in it, sadly. All right, here's my version. Okay, okay. My version. so, because I think you can't know, you can't notice what you've seen the first time, or even See, maybe the second. There's an actor's give, theory behind it. Give it that, somewhere okay. to go. You know what I mean? Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Is that guy interviewing him, or is that like one of his friends? That doesn't seem like a guy interviewing him. It seems like oh. a friend, or is he a, on one of the shows? Maybe he's on Misfits. I've, on. <clears throat> I've spoiled it for myself a wee bit. A wee bit. I know how super, super natural and sleek and sexy I get. <laughs> 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 Ladies, <laughs> <laughs> we were on a we were on a street one day, just in a quiet kind of neighborhood area. Loads of fans showed up. Like, oh, how do they know where we are? Do, you know, do yeah. they, are they paying like a? Do they have a mole on the inside? <laughs> no, I don't have any tattoos. Uh, you know, I wish I had one tucked away somewhere that I couldn't show you. But I'm being absolutely honest. I have no ink. I'm pure that? as the driven snow, <laughs> darling. And. Now have <laughs> I like the, the camera just went like that. <laughs> what, are we, what are you going down into my cleavage for a minute? Do you want to see a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I quite like that film Duets, which was basically an out and out. Gwyneth movie, Paltrow? But I loved it because there was karaoke, and that makes every situation better. Did you enjoy the shooting? Yeah. You all the time look at my You've got fantastic hair. Yeah, I know, sick. You look like you look like that is wild hair that's like too wild tragic place to be and you know you should do anything and everything to get out of the friend zone if you find yourself there students you should all be listening to this because if you find yourself in the friend zone do the quickest thing you can to get out of it. And that might involve jumping up on the nearest table and getting your willy out. <laughs> and swinging it around in circles. Because that will certainly remove you from any friend zone. <laughs> well, put you firmly in an enemy zone. <laughs> For most people, loner zone, exactly. Pariah zone. You know, the premier being on the side of the road adds a certain tension to the whole thing. Look at you with the runes on your arms. You're gorgeous. She has the costume. That's lovely. Oh, yeah, you're Isabel. Who's Isabel? Misfits? Mortal Instruments or, or Misfits? I have a little thing later on in the film. Can I have your number? <laughs> yeah, sweet. Success. Okay, let's wrap this up. Are you excited to film those scenes with Jemima and, like, develop? develop she looks that? so nervous. By the mouth. That girl is so nervous. Uh, sorry, this is a whole different dialogue going on. It's like one thing to interview a person, another to interview him. You get a bit more kind of like kick ass spirit in you, like your character. I think draw runes on yourself because, because, <laughs> because you know what? Tattoos are cool. 
chicks dig tattoos, and you know, they probably have magical peppers. And B, get a tattoo. Get a tat. Alright, hang on, okay. Just you, you slip over okay. there. Okay. I'm not. That's it! High five. That's how you do it, Patrick Stewart. Yeah. Learn from this, Patrick. <laughs> and check out another weekly update on showbizgeek.com sometime, mm -hmm. sometime next year. Next year. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Pleasure. I guess that's it. Oh. Oh, goodbyes. Silence. <laughs> That was a good one. I didn't see a lot of that stuff. Some of the montages I seen a lot of, there was like a good 90% of that I hadn't seen. Uh, maybe like a couple little things, not even a minute's worth. But out of a 10 minute scene, I thought I would see a lot of repeats as soon as I saw it was like a montage of a lot of clips. But that was now that I'm looking at it, it says published a month ago. But I guess it was, I guess they just used, it's seen like nothing from Umbrella Academy. Everything I've seen with montages was a lot of Umbrella Academy. This had hardly nothing. It had literally nothing from Umbrella Academy. It was either Misfits or Mortal Instruments City of Bones. So that was cool. I got to see a lot of new stuff. He is hilarious since the beginning, apparently. I thought maybe he like grow into that or something but this is like f misfits and that that stuff was like f at least five years ago maybe 10 years ago when it started so five seasons of misfits it ended like somebody told me like at least five years ago so it's like 10 years ago that he could be doing these all i know is it's old and he's still funny as hell he did look really young though i figured i'd get this video out to you guys because also i just heard news that season two is confirmed there will be umbrella academy season two so good news guys we all kind of speculated obviously that's where it was going but if it doesn't get good reviews things get canceled you never know this is renewed so love me some robert sheehan there's a video for you guys because i hadn't done one in like a week or two so i will be doing reactions to misfits guys I'm pretty sure I'll start it when True Detective ends. It is only six more episodes of True Detective left. So month and a half, I do one a week. Maybe I'll do an extra one here and there. So give or take a month, I will be doing misfit reactions. So just to let you guys know, I know most of you that want to see that watch these videos. So there you go, guys. So let me know what you guys think. Comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.